Hey guys, in today's video we're talking about some very important security features and awesome options that Apple has added to iOS 12 that they didn't really tell us about but they're very important and I thought I'd share those with you guys so you know they're here with iOS 12 because yesterday I also posted a video talking about some of the annoying things about iOS that Apple doesn't fix but it's also only fair to talk about the amazing things that Apple is doing to protect the users and important features that they added to iOS 12. So let's begin. So first we're going to take a look at Face ID and Passcode. This is where Apple shines, bringing security and protecting their users. This is a very, very important option that Apple added to iOS 12. We have allow access when locked. This means that these categories here will have access from the lock screen, whether it's using Siri or other methods with notifications when the device is locked, okay? So we have a new option here in iOS 12 that says USB accessories. We don't have that in iOS 11, as you can see there. Now, why would Apple add this feature to iOS 12? Out there, there's currently a machine that's called the Gray Key. If you haven't heard about it, I'll link down below. And it unlocks iPhones using exploits by cycling through passcodes, but it uses the USB connection, the lightning connection on your iPhone here. So this new feature, Feature prevents any USB device from getting access to the software if your device is locked for an hour so it completely disconnects the USB it kills it completely it's not until you physically unlock your iPhone that that connection comes back rendering that machine useless so now if a government agency a hacker gets a hold of that machine and has your iphone if your device has been locked for one hour and this toggle is off you're safe apple has completely disconnected that so keep that one off this is where apple shines security and protecting the user now in ios 11 if you went to lock your iphone and you swiped up and face id did not recognize your face you're prompted with the passcode entry okay so in ios 12 apple has changed that in ios 12 now you can swipe up if it doesn't recognize your face it'll ask Ask you to enter the passcode but you can also swipe up once again and it will have a second chance to unlock your phone so faster face id and also more efficient lock screen unlock with face id now let's go back to face id and passcode because there's a new option here that apple added and that is alternate appearances okay so set up an alternate appearance this means you can set up more than one face with face id now at first i thought that was the only purpose for this but the second purpose for this is let's say you have plastic surgery or something that just changes the physical structure of your face so you can set up two faces with face id the one before and after and face id will merge those two and still recognize who you are now you can also set up two faces it could be you and someone else because i've tried it and it unlocks with both faces even though it's not the same person so the alternate appearance feature is a feature that helps face id learn how you look and what you look like even if you have major changes within your facial structure now in ios 12 apple also built in a really cool feature let's say there's an application that you have to log in with your phone number and you receive a text code once you receive that text code for me to enter that passcode without having to actually copy it or remember it so very useful option there as well and last but not least i want to talk about software updates now when we're looking to jailbreak those of you who jailbreak sometimes want to prevent your device from automatically updating okay and some of you just don't necessarily want to do updates all the time you want to wait because as we know sometimes newer software has a lot of bugs and sometimes your phone updates automatically anyway under software updates options here we now have an automatic update option that you can toggle on or off. So no longer will your iPhone automatically update overnight by accident and then you end up with a glitchy software like iOS 11 was for the longest time. So those are some of the awesome options and security improvements that Apple has added to iOS 12. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.